Hey Floss Tube, this is Michelle from Made by Michelle McGraw and it is Floss Tube number 42. It is December 23rd, so Christmas Eve Eve. Um, and I wanted to jump on here and do a um, video of my whips. My last Floss Tube did not show any of my whips. So I really wanted to show my whips that I was working on since that was kind of left out of the last video. I have been stitching a lot. I have some finishes. I have some partial finishes. I have some starts. I'm all over the place. <laughs> I wanted to share those with you. Um, the other thing is I want to jump on here and I do have a giveaway. I had said in my previous floss tube that I wasn't going to do a giveaway by the end of the year. Um, but I wanted to do a giveaway because this is an easy giveaway that I can do and I, I don't have to worry about shipping it out just depending upon what happens. You know, if things shut down, it gets harder to get to the post office. The nearest post office to me is a very tiny post office. So I really don't like to go into that post office uh, because there's just, there's no way to spread out in the post office, honestly, in that post office. So I would have to go to a different post office anyhow. This is an easy giveaway. Um, you are going to need an email address for this giveaway. So if you don't have one, I assume most people do. If you don't, borrow your kids, whatever, that I could send you a PDF. The giveaway is for the Stitching Shells by Galliana Cross Stitch. And she has offered this pattern up free for my Floss Tube viewers. So thank you so much. Um, I do recommend you guys go over to Etsy and go on Galliana Cross Stitch and look at her designs. What I love about these designs is that they are open-ended. You could stitch them all in one color. People love red work samplers, um, done in navies. It's beautiful. But you could also come in here and you could stitch the border a color. You could stitch the shells brown. You could stitch each individual item a certain color. And I just love that idea of having an open-ended project. So for to be eligible for this giveaway, you are going to say Galliana in your comment. Galliana is spelled G-A-L-L-I-A-N-A. Galliana. So you will put that in your comment. You'll be in for the PDF and I will send it to you and you can be anywhere in the world. So there you go. Okay. So thank you so much for that giveaway. Um, and good luck. The other thing is I am considering doing a whip parade, um, after Christmas. Um, I'm kind of considering it. I was talking with my friend, Katie Stitches. Um, she, Katie Stitching, she is on Instagram. And Katie was like, I think I'm gonna do a whip parade. And I was like, I don't know because I have a lot of whips. So I feel like there may be a little bit of judgment on my whip parade because it, it it's out of hand. It, it's out of hand. I would like to say that I feel guilty about that I'll be honest, I don't. Um, for me, if I have a pattern and it's sitting there and I love the pattern, it's, to me, why not kit it up and start it and get a start for it? Because I could walk by it anytime and say, oh, I wanna work on that blank project, whatever that project is, and I could just pick it up off the shelf and very quickly start stitching on it. Rather than if I wait to kit it up until I'm ready to dedicate a whole week or two or however long the project would take, I have to pick the fabric, I have to get the floss, I have to make any floss substitutes if I don't have the floss. Um, so for me, having a lot of whips is not necessarily a bad thing. They sit on the shelf. What's the worst thing? It's sitting in the shelf in a bag, it's protected so it's not getting dusty. Um, and maybe I don't get back to that project for a little while. It's okay. It, it's it's not going anywhere. It's not, you know, fabric doesn't deteriorate in my lifetime, in my house, um, hopefully. Um, so what's the worst that it's doing? Sitting in a bag for a little bit longer? I'm okay with that. So I do have a lot of whips. I've never counted them. Well, I, I don't wanna say that. I have not counted them recently. Um, yeah, I have a lot of whips. So if you are interested in seeing a whip parade, leave me a comment down below and say, 
absolutely you want to see a whip parade or if you don't want to see a whip parade and say Michelle you are out of hand we don't need to see all that <laughs> leave that too that's okay that's okay okay so I'm gonna get into some whips I do have some finishes um, and I have I, I have a lot to show you guys so I'm gonna try to move my cards I'm getting my cards from my um, I always use car um, note cards I make my own out of scrapbooking cardstock and I put all the permanent information oh that's the one I was good gracious now I know why I couldn't find that card I put two projects on one card so apparently I thought it was a blank card that's the one I was looking for earlier um, I was like maybe I need to write a new card maybe I didn't write one anyhow I put all of my information on there and then I have it in my filing system which I did show in a previous video so you can go back and um, look at that if you're interested okay just wanted to pull out some of my finishes okay so the first finish I'm going to show you is a fully finish from Pineberry Lane this is ho 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 and this was a free pattern that mama loves you GB Michelle had posted on her um floss tube and I went and looked at it and I loved it. I printed it and I stitched it. Um, I did change the colors to what I had on hand. So I did the, um, well, let me back up. I did it on murky fabric, 14 count murky fabric. For me, I love a bright red on murky fabric. I think it looks awesome. So for me, that's always my color palette is to do a bright red if I can. So I did change the reds. I just used what I had and picked out colors. This is an easy pattern to do this and it's not showing up good in the light. It does say ho, ho, ho down here. Um, it has the little vines, the 1887, and then the little prim Santa and I love him. Um, it has a 2020 charm and a little um, charm of like ivy. I, or I don't know what you would call that. Um, Holly, Holly, there we go. Um, so there, I don't think you can see it. Um, and then on the back, I finished it with velvet. And I will tell you, um, Michelle has commented many times about how she loves the velvet backing. And I had a piece, I had a couple pieces and I was like, I'm gonna try it. It is so lush, I I love it, I, I love it. Um, so thank you, Michelle, for giving that hint. That was a lot of fun to finish with and it just feels so nice. Um, I did put some Lady Dot um, chenille on here. So that's my finish and this goes in the dough bowl. I did finish it with crushed walnut shells. So it's very weighty. So when I put it in my dough bowl, it stands nicely. Um, so I loved this pattern and this pattern inspired some other patterns. So I will show you those. Um, but that's my first finish that I had. So I love him. Okay. Um, I'm going to put him over the side. All right. My next finish, let me get the pattern, is from Brooks, Brooks Books Publishing. I think that is the first time in history I have ever said that name correctly the first time. Um, okay, so they have some freebies. Also, this was enabled by Michelle from Mama Loves You GB of Advent Animals. So this is Odette Owl. And it's a very small picture. I think I showed this before in another floss tube. And I did this owl because my niece is a Harry Potter fan. So I thought, oh, the owl would be cute, even though it's Christmassy, kind of pulling that in. And this is her ornament that I did. So I stitched it on, let's see if I even have the name. It is a random blue 14 count from Stash. That's literally what I wrote down, random blue. <laughs> very descriptive. It is um, probably a picture of this plus because it feels very soft. I have tons of picture of this plus. I imagine it's picture of this plus. Um, this is a gift for my niece. And there is a sow going on with, um, some other, uh, several other people. Um, so I wanted to do that. It's hashtag holiday animal cuteness sow. So if you stitch any of those animals from the advent calendars, use that hashtag and follow along. 
Um, I did change the border a little bit. The border was supposed to be back stitched and I just stitched it. And then I added a little um, snowflake charm and a bell. Um, those are left over from my scrapbooking days. So there you go. Um, I finished it with chenille. I did use the chenille hanger. And then I put a little tab on the back of love, my initials, and the 2020 on the back for her. Um, so that is her ornament that I stitched up for my niece. Um, and she can, what I liked about the chenille trim is she can lay it back and put it in her dough bowl, or she can hang it as an ornament on her Christmas tree, whichever she likes. Okay, so that was my second fully finish. All right, my third fully finish is, oh, I didn't pull this card. Let me see the pattern. Well, oh, here it is. Okay, this is a very COVID Christmas Santa from Beverly Ellis. She is on floss tube. Let me show the pattern. And it has a nutcracker, a snowman, and a Santa with their masks. Okay, so, I stitched the Santa for my nephew and um, this is stitched on 14 count vintage country mocha. It is a gift for my nephew for just his ornament that he does have a Christmas tree in his own room so he can put this on his tree. And I put up here a 2020 charm and a bell, although 2020 is on it so I don't know that he needed the charm but I have a bunch of them, so he's getting a charm. So, and then instead of doing, I think it calls for different metallic threads up here, and I think they were supposed to be French knots. Let me see, no, I don't remember. Little dots of it. I did full stitches and I just did a silver because it matched my backing fabric, which, oops, it's flying around which is this blingy plaid. And I don't think you're gonna be able to see, like here, up here, you can kind of see it glistening. It's very, very pretty. Um, I will not be using this fabric again. Um, this was a fabric that I bought online. And when I sewed it and stuffed it, I when I was sewing on the chenille trim, because I, I sew my chenille trim on, I noticed it fraying. It's like a homespun but it's because of the metallic in it, it's a little harder than a homespun. I noticed it fraying. So I put stop fray all underneath my chenille trim between the two seams. I was gonna use this for another project, in which case I would not be able to use stop fray. So I feel like this ornament is fine, but for the project I was going to originally use it for, it would not be fine. Um, it's very pretty. I'm going to have to find another use for it, but it's not gonna be for the intended purpose. I did iron on one of my labels that I had made from a seller in Etsy. So that is a very COVID Christmas. Okay. So those are all of my fully finished. Now, before I go into my finishes, I did wanna, um, give a really good shout out because this is so awesome. So my friend Erin at Perpetual Dot Projects, she is on Instagram. She also has a floss tube. Um, please go check her out, subscribe to her floss tube channel. She does awesome stuff. So Erin very sweetly sent me a great card with a very sweet note in here, so sweet. And she sent me this ornament. I am blown away. I love it. Um, first of all, she did it on these tags. I think she said that she got the tags from Joann's. I am going to be rating my Joann's when I go. <laughs> um, I haven't been to Joann's in a long time, but I'm going to be rating it because this is an awesome idea. Um, the finishing is beautiful. She does show these ornaments. She did a couple of them and she tells the designer. Um, so she did an M for Michelle or McGraw, which works. Um, and I just love that. I I was blown away by that. So thank you so much, Erin. This is beautiful. It is going back on the tree after this video. So thank you so much. Um, 
but please go subscribe to her because she does some really unusual projects, thrifty projects, um, and she really uses what she has. And I think that's something that I really, really like about her floss tube. I mean, I watch a lot of floss tube because I really feel like not only do I do floss tubes, but I want to support other floss tubers as well. And the easiest way is by watching and subscribing. So there's always something that I like about each of them that I watch. And Erin just comes up with some different projects, some very thrifty ways, um, different finishes. And I love that. Um, so she has a cube. I saw it this morning on her Instagram that she did with Marvel Comics logos, the different logos that she's doing for her husband. It is so awesome. Like I'm not a Marvel fan. Um, it is my goal one day to watch all the Marvel movies in order, but I haven't done it. Um, but you don't have to be a fan. It is an awesome project. It is so amazing. So go check her out. So, and it's perpetual.projects on Instagram. And I think her floss tube is Erin, but I think if you, if you go to her Instagram, perpetual.projects, she always does a link in the comments, which FYI, floss tubers. I love to find new floss tubers. The easiest way is when I'm on Instagram and they put a picture of their floss tube up is to click the link in their profile of their newest video. I see a lot of floss tubers that don't put that clickable link and sometimes I can't find them on, on YouTube and I really, really want to find them. So if you are a floss tuber, make sure you put that clickable link because it's, it's so easy to go to your profile and click that link and then I can find your floss tube and I can subscribe. So, um, yeah, make sure you do that. It's under, like if you go to your profile and you hit edit, it's under the website part and it will actually let you put a clickable website there and you just put your floss tube clickable, clickable link for your latest video. Okay, let me get back to fully, or finishes. These are not fully finished, but there are finishes. So my 2016 Prairie School Santa is finished. This is the three-legged deer, as some people like to call it. Um, you know, the funny thing is, I didn't even notice that until people said anything. I left him as a three-legged deer. I'm gonna say that his leg is behind Santa's, and that's what it is. One, because I'm too lazy to fix it and chart it myself. Two, um, prairie schoolers are like holy grail patterns to me. So prairie schoolers can do no wrong. Hence, if they put out a three-legged deer, they want me to have a three-legged deer. There you go. So I use the call for DMC. I did this on 14 count murky, which is my go-to fabric for all of my Prairie Schooler ornaments. I have fully, I have halfway fully finished this. I have backed this with fabric. I have a hole in the bottom to stuff it. I need to stuff it, sew my hole, and then sew my trim. So I'm halfway done with it, but not all the way done. This fabric is just um, some holly fabric. The green matched his Santa gloves, which is what I liked. And it was like a muted um, red on there. And as you know, prairie schoolers always do that muted red or normally do that muted red. So I really wanted to use that. So I need to finish this. You'll see that fully finished in the future. It's not yet. All right, so the next up, and I have this in a bag. Uh, let me see if I can find it. That's not it? I don't think this one is it either. No. All right, I have this in a bag somewhere, and when I get to it, I'll show you the actual pattern, but let me show you the finish. Um, this is Winter Sampler from Leisure Arts. This is stitched on 16 count Hermosa Picture This Plus with Weeks Dye Works Michael's Navy. You can't see the variegation on film, but that Michael's Navy is beautiful. So I really, really like the variegation that the, that the floss had. Um, this was a very quick one. I actually have another one in that um, winter sampler from Leisure Arts that I wanna stitch. So I have it in the bag and I will um, show that when it comes up. 
This is a free pattern. And if you search Leisure Arts Winter Sampler, it pops right up. And I actually got that from another Instagrammer and I meant to write down her name and I forgot. I thanked her and then I forgot to write it on my card. So I'm sorry about that. But she alerted me to this free pattern. So I have stitched that up. That needs to be finished for my winter doble. Um, okay, so the next project that I have done is a little different. So I was working on this for quite a while. Well, it stitched up pretty quick in, well, I say that, four days. I started on December 8th and I finished on the 12th. So I guess it wasn't as long as I thought. This is Folk Art Nativity. And this is an embroidery piece. Now, don't let embroidery scare you. Um, this was from 123 Stitch. And you can do this in all back stitching if you so choose. And you'll see, I'll point out some pieces that I um, changed it up. I really hope the light, my light is coming in back here this morning, but I really need to film this this morning rather than later. So doing what I can. Let me see how it films up. Let me put something behind it. Okay, so this is really hard to take a picture of because it's a kit, okay? There it is. Uh, it's still not all in the screen. Okay, I think that's, not, yes, that's everybody. Okay, let me show them individually and up close. So, this is a kit and you can literally backstitch, you can do it any way you like. The design comes pre-printed and I'm so sorry I did not iron this because I have not fully finished it and I'm, I need to take time to finish these. As you can see, there's a faint sew line that they have already included for you. You don't stitch that, you sew on that. And I'm going to make these into stand-ups using Vana's tutorial. Fingers crossed it works out. Um, but you basically backstitch around it. Now I did do a satin stitch here um, French knots for the eyes. There's a little bit of satin stitch up here on him. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Um, and I'm sorry, this card behind it is blue, but I, so I hope it's, it's not, it's pure white fabric. Okay, so this is a little bit of satin stitch on the lines. Um, and I think those, that's it. French knots for his eyes. Okay, let me show you the next one. This is Mary. I don't think there's any, there's French knots for her eyes. Let me see if there's, there's no other specialty stitches there. I thought about satin stitching her hair and then I decided not to. All right, this is the next one. I do have some satin stitches here, French knots on his robe, French knot for his eye. A little bit of satin stitching on his robe right there. Okay, this is the next one. So this is some satin stitching on the diamonds on his robe. French knot for the eye. And the next one. <clears throat> More satin stitching on the dots. Satin stitching on the diamonds. French knot. Now you don't have to do um, satin stitches. I just kind of wanted to oomph it a little bit, but you definitely don't have to. This is one that is just an outline all the way around French um, dot, French knots on his eyes. You definitely could use beads for the eyes if you wanted to. You could add beads to any of these um, to bling them up. And then there's baby Jesus. And I did do a little bit of satin stitching on the hearts. So those are gonna be finished into stand-ups. Now I did not rush to get these done because these will be my first stand-ups that I do. So, um, I need to take my time and I need to do it slowly. And so um, with Vana's help and um, this kit, I don't remember the price. It came with the fabric. 
I want to say it came with the thread. The thread was $4.98. You could do it in any color you wanted. You don't have to use the red if you don't want to. Um, so everything that I needed, I think there was even a needle in here if I'm not mistaken. So this was a great buy for me from 123 Stitch and it is Folk Art Nativity and Posey Folk Art Red Art. So I think Posey is the designer. There you go. Really cute, really fast stitch up um, and you can make it as fancy as you want to. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show is, I have them all laying out because there's some that are finished and then one is a whip. Actually, yeah, I can get to it. Okay, I was gonna say, actually, I can't get to it. Okay, this is Thanksgiving Friends from Needle Love and I have showed in the past some of the finishes. I have more. Let me pull that one out. Let me show you the pattern first. This is Thanksgiving Friends from Needle Love. This is a very old, old pattern. So I am currently working on the male Native American. Let me show you that because he's a whip. Oh, he's in my hoop though. Oops. And I'm not going to take him out, but he is stitched from here up. I am working down on his um, outfit and then he'll have his feet down here. I don't actually have that much more to go. So there he is. But I have completed the female Native American, the turkey, the male pilgrim, and the female pilgrim. So I just have to finish the Native American pilgrim and then I'm done and, or Native American boy, and then I'm done. And then I'm going to finish them into stand-ups. Now these stand-ups are a little different because you stitch around the stitching. You're not making a dome. I may change that. I may not, probably not. I'm probably gonna finish them just like they showed. So as you can see, I'm kind of obsessed with stand-ups. I have a little friend beside me on the floor. So if you hear scampering, that's what he's doing. All right, um, I'm just gonna start picking bags up to show my whips now. Okay, this is one from Galliana Cross Stitch. This is a restart. So I started this and this is Christmas House. Let me, I think that's it. Hold on, let me get the right name. House of Christmas, sorry. And the pattern is this. I had started it. I was not liking my fabric choice. And it wasn't that I don't like the fabric. It wasn't that I didn't like the fabric and the color. It just, it wasn't hitting me. So I restarted it on some polka dot material. It's still Ada. Um, I think this is 18 count Ada, maybe 20 count. I don't know, but I've restarted it. Um, I'm much, much happier. It's more Christmassy to me than what I had originally picked out. So that was a restart. Um, I hated to do that, but on, but I wasn't loving it. So I hate to stitch on something I'm not loving and I love the pattern so much. I really wanted to love the final piece. So restarted it. I'm much happier. Very happy with that. Okay. I don't know what this is. So I'll just open it and we'll get to it. Oh, I do know what this is. Okay. I am doing, you don't care about my floss list. So, okay. So I am doing Winter Rosewood Manor by With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. I am changing the colors for a couple of reasons. So let me, um, I am doing a middle start. I am doing this on Picture This Plus Legacy. Um, it's actually 18 count. 
Um, I really liked the way it worked. I don't have much of a start. It's kind of pathetic, but I wanted to start that house and I wanted to make sure my house was pink. So my called for, and I think it calls for conch, weeks conch. My conch was not pinky at all. So my easy solution is change the color, change it to what you want it to be. And so that's what I did. Um, so kind of a pathetic start, but it's a start and I can go over there and pick it up at any time and work on it. Um, I like the color I chose and I like the colors that I chose. So here are, well, this is a mess. <laughs> so maybe not listen to me. This is a mess. Um, my pink that I'm using, let me make sure I tell you right. I am using Blushing Beauty by um, Classic Color Works. Let me make sure that's right. Yes. And it is a pink. It has some tan or like peachy variation, but this to me is what the house looks like in the picture. So it made me happy to make it more pink. That's what I'm going with. So, um, you know, make it my own, make it to what I like. I think the conch is beautiful. I've seen other people stitch it as is and it's beautiful. I just wanted it more pink. Um, so I changed it. Okay. And I've also been on a kick of Ada lately. I don't know why. I, I think because Ada is where I started and it's just easy and it's relaxing. And I think as the Christmas time has come around, um, it's not that I'm stressed, but I do all the shopping. I do all the cooking as most of us do that are married. Cause you know, my husband's like, what, what did we get them? I'm like, be quiet. Um, so to me, it's all on me. I'm just making sure I have everything. I've done everything. I'm doing everything. And um, then we also have the business and I need to make sure everything's settled for that for days off. And um, to me, I need easy in December. I also want to stitch Christmas in December. So you'll see a lot of new Christmas starts um, because I want to I want to stitch Christmas in December. I want to be stitching on Christmas stuff. Um, I always think it's a great idea to stitch ahead and have stuff ready for the season. I also really like to stitch within that season. So like when it's Thanksgiving time, I wanted to be stitching on my pilgrims. Um, so I did, and it makes me happy. They weren't ready for Thanksgiving, but they will be ready for next Thanksgiving. And so that's okay, that's okay. I have a lot of finishing to do as per norm. Um, Probably more embarrassing than my whip collection would be my finished, needing fully finished collection. That would probably be more embarrassing. At one time, I know there was over 20 projects in that basket. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. We'll just let that go. Alrighty, on to the next one. Okay, so this is a teeny tiny start of I don't want to show the pattern, even though it's free, I probably could. Mary and Minty, we have all seen this from Brenda Gervais. I do not have a good cover photo because I, um, yeah, I'm not gonna have a good cover photo. It's Mary and Minty, go to Brenda Gervais. You've seen it, I'm sure everybody has seen it. It was a quick stitch. Um, I shouldn't even show this at a start, but Just put it back in the bag. It started. Okay, moving on. <laughs> it is a start. All right. Um, and I am just choosing my own colors for that one. I'm picking brights because um, that's what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be bright and olive greens. Okay, this next one is actually a really fun project that I have started for winter. I wanna get the cover page. That's the chart page, so that doesn't help. All right, so I have, I've started, why did my patterns get so messed up? 
This is from The Little Stitcher and they are on Etsy. And I am doing winter animals because I thought a dough bowl full of these cute little winter animals would be adorable. I started with the raccoon. So let me show you my start and then I'll show you the rest of the patterns that I'm going to do with them. Let me find my card so I can tell you what fabric I used. I actually just grabbed fabric from my stash because, oh, I think this is the one that's on the back of the other card that I could not find that was really perplexing to me this morning. Nope, that's not it. Okay, I don't know where, hold on. Okay, I don't know where I put that card. Sorry, I have buried it somewhere. All right, anyhow, here's my start. It's the raccoon from right there, okay? So, I love the fact that this was Winter Animals, and this is, this is Winter Animals 2. This is Winter Animals 1. So you got a cute fox and a deer, and it's, I, I love them all. Okay, so that's all those. But then I could also add to it Arctic animals because Arctic animals are winter. And look at those. I love that seal. I love the penguin. It, I, I love it all. So I'm going to be stitching those on. And this is, um, I don't know what color this is. That's why I was trying to find that card. I don't know. I have a big piece of it. It's, it's 14 count Ada. As you can see, they stitch up relatively, you know, a good size. These these are gonna be dough bowls or for my tiered tray. Um, so that was a fun project that I started. I have all of them in here. So there you go. That's a quick one that I will be stitching on come the first of the year, I'll be stitching more on it. I might stitch more on it today. I don't know. Probably not today. I have a lot going on. <laughs> um, okay. The, the next one, I actually will finish this today. This one was um, inspired by my Ho 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 Pineberry Lane. This is Merry Little Stitches from Pineberry Lane. And I am stitching the A Right Jolly Old Elf. And here he is. Once again, I picked my own colors. It's 14 count murky. But I only have his face to fill in, his cheeks, and then finish the wording, and I'm done. Yep, so it won't take any time at all. With that, I looked for some more um, prim stitches, and um, this is Merry Christmas Hanging Sampler, and I loved that sleigh. Love that. So I will be doing that. Um, this one is stuck in the bag only because it's Pineberry Lane, but it's not Christmassy. This is Little Shamrocks that I want to do for March. Um, let's see. What else do I have in here? I have Merry and Bright. I will be changing the colors. That's too pinky for me. And then I have December 25th, Cupboard Hanger. I love that. I have um, from Country Rustic Primitives. It is Merry Christmas and a Santa. And it's really hard to see, but there you go. And from Pineberry Lane, I also have two more. I loved that. I'll, like I said, I will be changing the colors on a lot of these. I think I'm using the same colors. And this one is bright. Oh, wait a minute. Bringing home the tree. Don't read upside down. I don't know if I'm going to do all of this. I, I would like to have it for my dough bowl. So I might have to break this apart. I don't know. I'm just going to have to see how it all fits. 
I don't know, because it is, how many stitches? 146 high by 97 wide. So I might divide it and make like that one and then that one. I don't know, I'm not to that one yet, so I haven't decided. But they're all the supplies are in this bag and that is on my, I will be finishing this one tonight. I don't have much to go on that one. Okay, let's see. I still have more. See, we're 40 minutes and I'm not done with my whips. So, yeah. All right, let me take this one out of the hoop because the project, the progress goes over multiple ones. So, this is Christmas House. Let me get my card so I can tell you exactly what this is 18 count gingerbread from Picture This Plus, and it is hashtag Christmas House Sow, and this is with Claire and SheBe59, Sherry Berry. Um, and Claire is Stitched It Lit, okay? So that is the hashtag. Here is my progress. So I have completed this room over here and sorry, it's wrinkly, you can't see. That's kind of like the baby's room, that's completed. I am working on the other bedroom. So let me show you the pattern. So I have completed this room, I'm working on this room, then I'll move over and then I'll move down. So that is from A Bright Needle. It is called Christmas House. It was supposed to be stitched over one or over two, it says. I'm stitching it over one because I'm doing 18 count. Um, and I am using called four colors. So I just think that's adorable. I've enjoyed stitching on this. Um, I will definitely stitch on it again during the holidays because I have enjoyed that a lot. It's so different and unusual. Um, a Bright Needle is a discontinued company, but you can still find their patterns pop up, like on Stash on Load, on um, eBay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the next one that I started is Christmas Traditions from Prairie Schooler. Let me get the right card, because that is a Prairie Schooler, but it's not the right one. And that's not the right one either. Okay. This is on 20 count from Silk Weavers and I do not have the name of it. And let me show you the pattern first. Christmas Traditions. And I am doing the manger scene down here. So I have started in here, which was kind of in the dead of the pattern. And as you can see, I have baby Jesus almost all the way done. I think I have a little bit of fill in right here and then I'm working up Mary's um, thing of her outfit. So it'll be tiny when it's done because I am doing it on 20 count, but I love it. Um, I've had this piece of Silk Weaver's, Weaver's fabric for the longest time and I always thought that I would do a Halloween start on it, but then when I pulled, I was pulling to see what I wanted to start it on. And I was like, this is the perfect nighttime fabric. And I'm sorry, my tree is behind there. It's blowing out the fabric. There we go. It's the perfect nighttime fabric for the manger. So I started it. I love it. And like I said, I have a lot of Ada starts lately. It's just what I've been feeling I'm doing. I still have more, still more. Alrighty, this is um, Christmas Alphabet from Prairie Schooler. Now we've all seen this one before. Um, make sure I get my, okay. I am stitching this on 14 count shadow from Picture This Plus. And I'm using Fat Quarters um, floss pack that they had for this. 
and it does make the colors brighter, which is what I like on the black fabric. And I'm stitching it with the three rows across and then down. So it will be a, my idea is to try to finish this into a wall hanging. I have um, Halloween rules by Lizzie Kate that hangs up in a certain area. And this is the one that I'd like to do for Christmas. And I have two blocks done. They go really, really fast. So I think once I put some time into this, it won't take that long to stitch that up. So I really like that. Um, the thread pack, it, mine's messed up, so don't go by mine, but it is Lori Halt's DMC chart pack for, it says Lori's Christmas Alphabet. And that's for the Prairie Schooler um, pattern. If you wanna do it on black or you just like the brighter colors. And I am normally a purist when it comes to Prairie Schooler. I normally do not like to change the colors. But on, I really liked it on black, and that's what I wanted to do it on. Okay. I don't even know what this one is, so. Oh, this is the winter sampler from Leisure Arts that I showed in the beginning. Let me show you the whole chart. So this is the whole chart. This is the top portion that I did. I want to do this bottom portion. It's not showing up great, but it's a log cabin with two trees and then two ice skaters. I may even do this section or I might leave it out, but I kind of divided up the sampler. But you could do the whole thing as a sampler, it's beautiful. I just picked the pieces apart. So I still have this bag with the fabric to do that bottom section. I just haven't done it yet. I still have more. Okay, moving right along. Okay, this is my Christmas garden. I have showed this before. I have this in a big bag because it has all of the floss for every project in this Home for the Holidays book. I wanna do this one. I want to do that one. I definitely wanna do this one. I was thinking about doing that one and changing it to a bluebird, but then somebody made the comment about stitching, um, making it smaller. Hold on, let me find that pattern so I can show you a picture of it. So somebody commented about stitching, here's the original pattern. Somebody commented about just stitching like that. And I love that idea. So I actually think I'm gonna do that instead and keep it a cardinal, because I really do like the cardinal. Here's a picture of that if you wanted to just stitch it that way. So I think I'm gonna stitch it that way. I love the whole thing, but where I'm going to use it at, I don't really need the whole thing. Sorry, I don't, I have my working copies. No, I'm tearing my book apart is what I'm doing. Okay. Let me get my book back together. Apparently, oh, I just totally took it off. Took the cover off, that's okay. What else? There's another pattern in here I wanna do. Okay, so this is Christmas Garden. That's what I'm working on. This is the other pattern that I wanna do from this book, which is Blessings Be Vine. And that's by Blackbird Designs, but let's go back to Christmas Garden so I can show you. All right, so that's what it looks like. I have changed up the colors. So I'm not gonna take this out of the hoop because all of my work is within the hoop. That is my progress. I have deepened up the red. I have changed the gold to white and I've changed, let's see. I am using Belsois Cranberry for the red. I am using B5200 for the white. I am using Gentle Arts Endive for the um, green, which was called for. And for the Heirloom Gold, I am using Belsois Mud Pie, which is this color right here has come up so far. So um, I am using one over one on 18 count, count and except for the white, the white is done with two strands. 
So my Christmas garden will be a little bit different than everybody else's, but I really wanted it Christmassy. I really, um, my Calico Kitty, which is actually what the red was called for, was very, very on the tan side. Um, it was pretty, and I think it would have been pretty regardless, but I just wanted to change it to more red. I really, really love it. I love stitching on it. So that's my progress. I've done a little bit more. I'm starting on the big flower down here. And I finished up more on the border. I brought the border down more. Not too impressive. I haven't spent a lot of time on that one. But once again, I stitch what I want when I want. And that way I, I'm not forcing myself to work on something that I just don't feel like I want to work on that day. Okay, this one is Nativity by Jan Lynn. Now, when I got my kit, I think it was by Jan Lynn. I think Cooler Designs has bought this out. So this is the kit and it's the Nativity. And I will be finishing them as stand-ups. I love this. I am using called for, but I'm not sorting all that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. So I just took the numbers and got the floss. Um, I probably will not use this gray felt to back it because it's not a soft felt. It's not a good felt. I don't like it. Um, but it was all in the kit. I have a little start on Mary. I am doing her on 14 count oatmeal. Um, I have a big piece of oatmeal. I've had it forever to do them, and that's why I decided to do it. So there's my start <laughs> with a holiday, with a Halloween needle minder. <laughs> there's a lot of shading in these. So this will be an ongoing project for quite a while. I think you can get this same design. I'm not sure if it's kitted or not from Cooler Designs. I, I know that you can because I looked it up before I shared it. So that is in a great big one. All right. I am getting to the narrow. I'm narrowing it down. Kind of. If you guys can see my dogs are walking by. I'm trying to hurry because I think they're getting antsy. Which means, you know, one's going to bark and then they all bark and they rattle each other up. And it's, we have three Cavaliers and... I'd love them dearly, but they get out of hand. It's just ridiculous. All right. This is The Night Before Christmas from the Prairie Schooler. This is a great pattern. So I am doing it on 14 count murky and I, I'm cheating a little bit. These are ornaments for my boys for next year. So my goal is this year I did the boys two ornaments. Next year I want to do three. So my first set I've already chosen are just classic Christmassy ornaments. So I'm going to be doing this one, this one, and this one. I don't know who's getting what yet, um, but here's my start. And I also have, a, this is an original, um, cardboard or cardstock copy. I've had this chart for a while. I have my working copy. So I blow up the images on Prairie Schooler. On this one I did. Um, I am also going to stitch this sleigh and one reindeer. And I also want to stitch this block that says the night before Christmas. I'm going to have to finish the block and then I'm going to have to put another one of these like little flowery garland motifs down at the bottom but I really liked it. I'm gonna have to double check that it's gonna work out for that one, but this one will be an ornament for my tree. So when you get a chart that's as good as this, this is beautiful. I would love to do it as a whole sampler. It's just not gonna, that's not what I'm using this pattern for right now, but there's pieces of it that make beautiful ornaments. So look through your existing patterns and pull out some pieces to make ornaments. Once again, here's my start. My goal will be to work on these ornaments throughout the year. 
um, cause I want to do three ornaments for my boys. Of course I will do ornaments to add to my tree. And then I also want to do another one for my niece and nephew. Okay. This is the last whip. All right. Actually, this might have a finish in here too. Yes, it does. All right, so I am doing Good Morning Maui Star Wars. Let me get the right one because I have multiple patterns in here. Go check her out on Etsy. She has beautiful patterns. I love them, they're cute. Okay, I need the cover page, hold on. I do not want to show you her patterns. Uh, where's it at? She is on Etsy. Okay. This And this one is called Star Wars. And I will be doing all of the Star Wars people. I'm going to be pairing them up with different people. The first, some will be paired up, some won't. The first one is Leia. And since she's one of the females, she got a beautiful pink fabric or purpley fabric, she's not paired up with anybody else. I am gonna do these on scraps, whatever complements the people. This one is, I am doing uh, Obi-Wan, and I don't remember who else I decided on. Maybe Luke, I don't remember. I'll have to figure it out, but I am doing Obi-Wan. He's down here. And here's my start on him. So just a little start. He will have somebody paired with him. I wanna say, uh, I decided on Luke, I think. That might change though, who knows? Anyhow, um, these are a fun pattern. I really enjoy these. These are a fun stitch. And my idea is to have a whole dough bowl of Star Wars. And how fun would that be? I have stitched portions of those um, for ornaments and stuff in the past. I did those for my boys' ornaments. This year, they picked some characters from there, and I stitched two of my boys' characters from there for their ornaments this year. Well, one of their ornaments. Okay, I did want to show you three projects that I know I will be starting in the new year. So the first one is the 1864 EF sampler. And this is with Mama Loves You GB. And this comes from the disc. Um, it's sampler and antique New York quarterly um, is the magazine that it comes from. I have a disc that carries all of them and it's available on Amazon. Michelle has talked about it, so go over to her floss tube and get any details, but that's a beautiful sampler. I'm trying to keep it in the, try not to like. Um, I haven't kitted up, but I haven't decided on fabric yet. I have two fabrics, and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna choose yet. So I have to pick one of those. Don't know which one it will be. That will be started in the new year. I also have, and I mess this hashtag every single time. I think it's a sparrow among the lilies, which is a sow with Katie stitching and Sarah stitching on Instagram. I think there might be a couple other people joining us. Absolutely, if either of these two patterns are ones that you wanted to stitch, join us. I will put the hashtag down once I start it because I will absolutely get the right hashtag, but I think it is a sparrow among the lilies, Sal. Yes, I think that's the hashtag. Um, I am doing His Eye is on the Sparrow from Heartstring Samplers. Katie is doing Consider the Lilies. I think Sarah is doing Eye on the Sparrow. I think. Anyhow, if you wanted to do either of these patterns, join us. Okay, they are big patterns, so keep that in mind. But there's no rush, there's no deadline, there's no rules. Join us and stitch it when you want to. All right, 
This is the third one, and then I'm going to sign off because I see my son coming in. Uh, this is, let me get my cover page. I'm trying to beat him before he comes in, and that way we, <sighs> Ann Webb, 1829. And this is from Hands Across the Streets, Hands Across the Sea. And the colors are beautiful, but those goats are amazing. And I had to kit it up, and I do have two flosses here, or two um, fabrics. I don't know which one, but I'm leaning towards this one. So that's a seraphin fabric. This is from Be Stitch Me. It is Muddy Puddles. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, this reminds me of murky. Now murky fabric right now is really hard to find. It's really hard to get. The dyer picture this plus is behind. I have ordered this in Ada and I wanna see if Muddy Puddles is a good substitution. I'll let you know. All right, I'm going to sign off before my dogs start barking because he's come home. Have a very Merry Christmas for all of those who celebrate. Have a great new year, a safe new year. And remember, if you want to see a whip parade, let me know. And if you want to be entered into the free pattern, put Galliana in the comments. Thank you. God bless. Everybody, stay safe.